Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a tutorial. I know, of course, it's been a minute. So I want to do an eyeshadow look and I want to review first impression kind of of these lippies I got. So let's jump right into it, shall we? So eyeshadow wise, make sure you use an eye primer. I'm using this Buxom eye primer. It's a stick one. It's a kind of like a translucent eye primer. Apply it all over to the brow bone area, all the way to the lid. And if you want it on the lower lash line as well, go ahead and apply some there, which I am going to. And I'm just going to rub it in with my fingers. That will be the easiest way. Make sure you get your hair out the way. Alright, so rub it in with your fingers. Eye primer is on. We're gonna go in with eyeshadow. So I really wanna utilize using the Jaclyn Hill palette since I only use it like twice. And I know that she came out with the vault. I'm still waiting on mine coming in. I ordered it and it should be coming in soon, I hope. So I'm gonna just use this for now. I don't know what look I'm gonna go for. Probably something more neutral just cause I'm gonna do some swatches of some lipsticks or liquid lipsticks I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna take this MAC 224 fluffy blender brush. Always my handy dandy. Before I apply any eyeshadow, I do want to apply a translucent skin tone shadow base. So I'm just going to use my foundation powder to set that eyeshadow primer in place. Alrighty, so once you have that set, I'm going to use this yellowy shade right here. It's called Creamsicle. This orangey looking yellow. We're going to put this on our outer crease. Light fluffs. I haven't worn eyeshadows in, I mean yellow shadows in a minute. I'm going to do like fluff circular motion just so it would be an easier fade up. Once you have the desired amount, I always have to put a little bit more on my left eye to you with my right. But it's my left eye just because I have more eyebrow space. And I just want to put as symmetrical as possible to my right eye. And then we're going to go in with this MAC 217. That's grab this neutral shade right here I feel like taking this one right here this peachy kind of brown color and that one is called mfeo i don't know what that is but i'm sure you guys know what it is we'll apply it to the inner and outer corner as a sandwich eye it's okay it's just for a light fade of transition i am going to i really want to do a semi smoky so I think I'm gonna take this color right here, that one. And that one is called 24-7. I'm this to my lid because I want a smoky eye today. I haven't worn eyeshadows in a long time, so it's okay. Ooh. I like to put a little bit first before I spray some moisture to it, just so I know the placement. Spray a little bit. There we go. Very 70s, I feel like yellow shadows so who else is excited for fall time Halloween man I am so ecstatic I already decorated my house I need to get a lot more decorations though I realized that I don't have a lot since a couple years back my bins got ruined in the basement it got soaked so obviously that stuff got ruined and I was really really sad because I had some cute stuff in there so I'm gonna need to Go get some more stuff, to be honest. I think that's good for now. And go back to the first brush, which is the 224. Go back to that same yellow creamsicle color. Since the yellow did kind of dilute from the color, this will help give it back some life. I'm just doing windshield wiper motions very lightly with the brush. Notice I'm not pressing against the eye like this. Just lightly fluff. It helps lift your brows up so you can see the lid space and where to stop. Moving on, we're going to do the same to the lower lash line. As I was saying, my favorite holiday, if you guys have been tuning into my videos for a while now, is Halloween time. Fall time is my shiz. And it's definitely feeling like fall time in SF. But then again, it always does, which I don't mind. Even though technically it's still supposed to be summer, but we don't know what that is, right? And I'm sure it's just the same for LA people who like don't know what fall time is because all you guys have is summertime year round. Alright, I'm running the creamsicle underneath that. So 
for a roundabout transition all around so it ties it together because without it it looks kind of like i'm tired sometimes yellow i feel like it can look besides looking very bright it can go either way it can go very bright looking or it can go very villainous which i think more villainous and which i like more villainous anyway i like step out of the box when it comes to makeup I don't like traditional everything same as everyone else I know that's what's in put some of this 24 7 on the lower lash line as well so you guys the dates coming closer for us to go to our vacation I'm excited for vacation but at the same time I'm nervous because I'm nervous about having to tell Illy's teacher and principal that she's gonna be missing three weeks of school basically because literally after we go to our usual traditional um, Mickey's Halloween uh, parade party thing in Disneyland. We go every year for October because it's my favorite. Right after that, we're going to China for my brother's wedding. So it's kind of like one after another. And I'm kind of like, uh-oh. A little nervous because of that to tell them because school just started, you know. So it's kind of like. Uh, she's leaving what but it's not my fault the wedding end up being in October eyeshadows all set I'm going to apply lashes um, mascara like the usual, and then I'll be right back all right guys I'm back lashes complexions all done we're gonna jump right into our swatches and first impression kind of to these new liquid lipsticks I got the ones I want to show you guys are these Bubs Beauty lip kits. I love Bubs Beauty. I've been watching her since so, so long ago when I was young um, or younger. I'm not that old. And I thought I, I always wanted to support her. I bought her book and everything on Amazon. And I just want to support her with the lip kits too. This is the lip kit. I also bought her palette too, I believe. The IGXO, I believe, collection, cosmetic line. And I love the packaging. It's so cute. I... For me personally, I am kind of retro at heart, so the white sleeve right here remind me of cassette VHS tapes. If you don't know what VHS are, Google it. But back in the day, we used to have videotapes, not YouTube. Videotapes that you put in, it's like a giant size like this. You put it into your videotape player instead of DVDs and Blu-rays and such. This hecker remind me of that. So you take off the sleeve, you have this nice tie-dye effect with this cute color of swirls. Remind me of unicorn colors. Really beautiful. This one is the color shade in Girl Next Door. Really, really cute. Has a little bunny logo because it's vegan, cruelty-free. You open it up, has a full-size mirror, and then you have your lip liner and the liquid lipstick color. So I'm going to put this one on and see what we think of it. I personally like to put lip, liquid lipstick first and then the lip liner. It smells like your typical liquid lipsticks, like um, that chocolatey scent kind of. Ooh. That's with one layer without dipping it in again. It's actually really nice. The applicator is really sturdy, which I like, so I can definitely line my lips with it without even using lip liner. The formula feels very much like a hybrid between Huda Beauty and Sephora collection. I want to say it's as thin formula as Huda Beauty and the comfort of Sephora collection. If you ever try Sephora collection, it's very comfortable, except that their formula tends to come off a little bit. Huda Beauty is thin, but at the same time, it's like when it's on the lips, it feels a little bit like liquid lipsticks on the lip. You could feel it. This feels very nice. It dries fairly quickly. It's dry already. Let's do the test. So it still has a transfer, but I didn't really let it dry dry. That's okay. I don't mind it. I feel like if I let it dry a little bit longer, it will dry. Um, let's apply the lip liner. So the lip liner is, I believe, the same name. I love that. It is a twistable. I do appreciate at the end of it, it does come with one of those smudgy stick ones. So in case you don't want to wear a lip lipstick, you could just wear the lip liner itself and smudge it in to make it look like um, a lip tint, like a lip stain if you will love that it's really really pointy the tip so i'm just gonna overdraw a little bit with the lip liner that's what i usually do lip liner is really creamy but still 
sturdy and dry at the same time, if that makes sense. It's not so creamy where it's like slip and sliding. For example, like Urban Decay lip pencils, they tend to be very creamy, so it kind of slip and slide. You gotta be careful with that one. This one is actually not like that at all. It's creamy enough where it's not tugging my lip when I apply it. At the same time, it's sturdy enough to get the precision I want. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, lip liner on. Very nice. What do you guys think? Color is really nice. Very wearable. Um, just a shade range for you guys to know. I'm around NC25 in MAC. And, and my color IQ in Sephora is about a 3Y06, give or take. So if you guys pin that into their Beauty Studio Color IQ machine, it'll tell you all the shade range of foundations in case you are a similar shade to me. Just to get an idea, I am on the fairer side of things. It doesn't make my tea look too yellow, which I appreciate. It goes with my eyeshadow look even and my blush. And I have everything on before I even put this on, which I can appreciate. So that one is in the shade Girl Next Door. Really nice, really nice. I wish it says it on the lip liner so I can know the color. I feel like I have to really put it together to know the color because let's be real, I'm not going to leave in the box to be honest because I'm going to be using it. It would be nice if they can like put the color on the packaging of the pencil itself. I do appreciate that they put Bub's Beauty on here so you know it's a limited collection with them. With her I mean. Alright, next color shall we? Same style of packaging very cute this one is called unstoppable in the shade so they have a little sticker here on the outer sleeve it doesn't say it on the cute box itself in case you don't want to keep the sleeve so that's another thing i noticed they should have put the color on the box too just so in case someone want to keep the box and it's beautiful, you know, as a gift or something. And they don't want to give a sleeve or something. I don't know. Unstoppable. Very, very similar. This one's a little bit more peachy orangey, I want to say, than the first one. The first, little, first one's a little bit more pinkier. Here's the comparison of the two. So that's this one here in Unstoppable. So once again, I'm going to apply it by itself without anything on my lip. And I'm going to apply the lip liner afterwards. So that's just how I do it. I watch my channel i always apply my lip first and then the lip liner to follow to clean it up it's my style you don't have to though mm, this color is really nice too well i feel like this color matches my look a little bit better than the other one they're really nice pretty this time i'm gonna apply the lip liner and i'm gonna wait about like a solid two minutes before i do the test on my hand just to see maybe it was just i did it too soon it wasn't dry down enough so I'm just going to apply lip liner. I must say, the lip liner is really good. I think I'm going to like the lip liner more than the liquid lipsticks itself. It's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to come back in two minutes and then I'm going to do the little kissy swatch thing and then see how it transfers or not transfer, okay? Okay guys, I'm back. I actually gave it another five minutes to be honest, not just two minutes. We're going to do a little test now. It's pretty good. If you look closely, it's just the outer perimeter um, rim that's colored. So it's the lip liner that transferred only. Liquid lipstick stayed on. So that's impressive. That's really good. I noticed that it does stick between the lips a little smidgen bit. Not too much where it's annoying. But it's not drying, which I like. So even though I'm moving my lips around. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> It still doesn't feel like it's crackling and cracking between my lips and it looks pretty damn good I want to say I think I like this color more than the other one personally I like a little bit more brighter of a kick But if you guys like this more or the other one, let me know in the comments below We're gonna remove this and I have one more to show you guys. All right guys. So the last but not least lip Kit or liquid lipsticks. I want to show you is this Ashley Marie and this is also by IGXO Cosmetics line. I've been following Ashley Marie for a minute. I want to say like a good solid five years now and I love that she's a pinup doll. It's so pretty of her, her style and everything and I love her new home. So beautiful. I love her decor. I've been following her decor page too. All right, so this one's her classic red lip and she um, created this color. So I thought I support and get one. So there's no name to this one. It's just called Matte Liquid Lipsticks, Liquid Lipstick, and it's just Ashley Marie. So 
really pretty. We're going to try this one out and see how it looks. This one definitely a lot more um, thicker classic liquid lipstick packaging. Lindy's Bubs Beauties is more taller and skinnier a little bit as you can tell in comparison. So Lindy's is 0.12 ounce. Ashley Marie one is actually 0.11. Okay so this one is a different applicator than Lindy's. This one has a little bit more of a longer applicator hers is more of the so those are the difference of the two do the swatchy swatch on the lip holy cow pigment smell the same a little bit like vanilla cupcakes or chocolate more vanilla the formula this one feels a little bit more oilier greasier i want to say therefore it may transfer more and at least it's more hydrating on the lip this is still on the first swatch by the way i have not not dipped again to reapply i mean at least you could maneuver it really nicely and it still hasn't dried completely right here you see the sheen right here so if you're a kind of like a noob when it comes to applying bright colors on the lips this might actually work out for you because because of the creaminess and the feeling of a tad bit oiliness of it it gives you time to maneuver and fix any mess ups you may have so how it works is that when it's still moisturized it's easier to remove when it comes to liquid lipsticks and lipsticks if it's completely matte it's kind of harder to move and remove and fix and erase lines just because it has already set into the skin to the lips but this is not like that at all. It's actually really nice. I actually don't mind it now. Now that it's set in. At first my initial thought was like it's a little bit too oily. But now that it's drying down it's actually really nice. I actually kind of like this thing. And I believe these are the single one was $17. Between $17 and $18. And then the kits were I believe $22.50 50 i want to say i'll link it below and then you guys can see there i believe there are uh promo codes for that um i think bubs has a promo code and i think also ashley marie has a promo code if you go to google promo code for igxo cosmetics i'm sure a lot of them will come up i did use one of the promo codes i think it took off like a solid five dollars or so yeah yeah this color is actually really nice i like it now same feeling as the other one a little bit tacky but not annoyingly tacky where it's like it's driving me crazy so tacky every time i close my lip um it's kind of like one of those just a little bit tacky for moisture and once again it's not settling in my lip line usually red is more obvious when settling in your lip lines definitely make my teeth look whiter that's good i'm gonna be back in five minutes and i'm gonna do the transfer test okay guys last time i'm back let's do that test now and see how it goes Ooh. That one's not that great. It transferred a lot. But, good news, it did not fade that much at all. It looks like nothing happened. So, I wouldn't recommend kissing your man or your woman. I would just maybe blot a little bit first with the tissue. Just to make sure you are good to go. Just a couple of times. Until you like, I wouldn't make out with them, but like, you know, kiss on the cheek or something. Just be careful with that. Now that I blot it several times, let's see how it goes on this hand now. Not bad. Just a little bit. I feel like reds are always tough. Um, they always do transfer, but comparing, it's not that bad at all, really. With my take of red lipsticks, red liquid lipsticks I have tried, they do tend to fade on the lips. And this. So many times I blotted already with the tissue and everything and kissing on my hands like twice already. It stayed on fairly nicely. I want to say like my Kat Von D didn't do that. It actually transfers once it touches something moisturizing like something soupy like or liquid like it does transfer. But if you don't touch anything with the lips like don't drink anything or eat anything it will stay on perfectly but it does also transfer too till the next video i will see you guys later have a wonderful day and yeah good luck in school and work bye